through. Okay, a little background since some um, she doesn't allow two more video guys. Then we call it a night. Two. This is the one and one more after this. We call it a night. It's the end. Late. Jesus. Stitches or duets. Um, she's talking about a clip from a podcast where a man looks at a woman and says, "No offense, but you think you're a ten. You're not a ten. And she just looks at him and shrugs and slides. Like, That's your opinion. I don't care. Um, and Drew's post is the point of it is the idea that it really pisses men off when they tell us we're ugly or fat or, or we'll never find a husband or we'll die alone with our cats or whatever, and that we don't care. I think this falls in line with what I've been talking about when it comes to marriage. It's about leverage. The, the, the root of men's anger at us that you're seeing on the internet, on these podcasts, whatever, on TikTok, the root of the anger is that they've lost the leverage. Like they, they want a world where when a man tells a woman she's ugly, she goes out, spends all her money, wastes all her time to try to not be ugly, basically. When a man tells her she'll never find a husband, she goes out and does all the prescribed things that make her... Um, that, that the culture tells her will make her wife material, right? But we're not doing that because we don't want to be your wife. We don't care what you think of our looks. We're living for us. We are centering ourselves on Moss for the first time in human history. And these dudes are losing their freaking minds because they don't have the leverage over us anymore. And that means they can't manipulate us into behaving the way they want us to behave. Ladies, if we could only solve the rape culture problem and all the other outside stuff, this is what freedom from men looks like. This is what freedom from men feels like. Think about it, bathe in it, soak it in when you finally get to a point where you just stop caring about what men think of you. It is the most liberating feeling in the world. And I wish all of you could have this feeling because it is truly like the most liberating thing. For somebody that don't care for men, she talk about men a lot. Like for somebody that don't really care for men, she talk about men a lot. And I'm trying to figure out like, if you don't really care for men, <laughs> She's trying to find a cult of women to be kind of alone with her and just there's nobody in the house. See, whatever house or apartment she's living in right there, there's nobody there but her. And all she can do is make content on some guys out here. You know, when when women leave guys, they 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 lose weight because that man kept you a certain type of weight and stuff like that. Nobody's she's coming up with all these hypotheticals and stuff like that. There's nobody in the house with her. And when she's lonely, like I say, if she's really, if this, here's the fun thing. If, if these women are really happy with being single, really being happy with being single, be single in peace. If you're really happy with being single, be single in peace. Be single in peace. Like if you really say, guys, da, 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 be single in peace. You don't have to recruit other people to join your, your, your singleness. Single is by yourself. For you to try to recruit other people, then that means you're lonely. So that's where I question if you're really, you know, about that single life. You telling other women, get like me, get like me, get like me. All you do is talk about men. All you do is talk about men exhaust you, they irritate you. Don't date guys. You look like you don't date guys. Don't date guys. But I don't understand how women try to recruit other women. If you are truly independent and really at peace with being alone and stuff like that, you don't be bothered by nobody. Stand at home, get off TikTok, just record yourself living your life and stuff like that. But she don't do that. She talk about men all the time. Man this, man that, man. You don't even date men at this point. I don't know. I don't, uh, uh, well, I believe she probably still deal with men. She probably just laugh for the social media, but you don't even date men. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. She complains about something that she don't like so much. Like, if you don't like it, stop talking about it. <laughs> Guys are this, guys are that. Man, you don't even date men. But the problem is that the last woman said, remember the video before all these guys, the woman said she's tired of being single. A lot of women are lonely. Some verbalize it, but they don't, or not the lonely that they'd be like, I want a husband or boyfriend. No, they just want somebody to deal with them. This woman is begging for attention.
from men, not from women, from men. She's trying to recruit women and it's failing because women don't want to be her. Women don't want to be her. And she's in the house alone and she got to record every single five minutes because she's alone and nobody's there. So she's trying to recruit other women to join her loneliness. These women want other miserable women to join them. And then some women don't want to do it. Some women on the internet crying, pleading, I need a man. Again, they don't want guys to you know to actually lead them and stuff like that. They just want to be a headache, but they want companionship by like you just being around and causing, you know, oh, you know, can you do this for me? Can you do this for me and stuff like that? So she can have somebody to complain to. She's not really trying to work. They don't, they don't work on themselves, guys. They're not working on themselves. But this woman is just miserable. This is a miserable woman. This is a miserable woman. She don't want to lose weight. She don't want to better herself. She complains about guys. She says she hate guys. She can't stand guys and stuff like that. But all she do is talk about guys. Like, it's like a stud that said, I don't date, man. But all you do is, won't you just go date what you date? You don't got to talk about guys. You don't even date men. But this woman sit here complaining about men. And it makes me think, do you even date guys? And she, she, she have pure hatred for men. Why do you date men then? And she's alone. She's bitter and alone, but she don't want to keep it to herself. She wants everybody to come around, support her bitterness and stuff like that. And she wants other women to join her. You have no companions. There's no women behind you. There's no other women supporting you. She's by herself and she can't stand it. So she gets on TikTok and complain about the patriarchy this, men are energy draining and stuff. You don't even have a man. I know her therapist be. Her therapist be like, hey, man, you got to stop these videos. You got to stop this delusion. You complaining about a non-existent man. Come on, lady. Come on. Let, let it go. Let it go. And she'll sit there. I hate man. I hate man. You don't have one. Lysandra, you don't have no man. But Lysandra's every day in therapy complaining about how she must she hate the patriarchy. Man, Lysandra, you don't have no man. There's nobody in the house but you. There's nobody there but you. Man, drink. there's nobody in the house but you. Stop talking about these men that don't exist. They don't want you. They don't want to deal with you. It's just you. I'm just trying to help other women. They don't care for your help. <laughs> they don't care for your help. They want a man. You say you don't want man. Cool. Date somebody else. That's not a man. But she don't want that. She just want to complain about guys. And she wants somebody to support that nonsense. Some of these women kind of blow me. Like, they kind of blow me. Like, they don't, all make sense. It all makes sense to me. Like, she says she cut her hair because she want to be masculine. She cut her hair like that because she wants to be masculine. Go date women. There's women that date women. It's, it's normal. Like, we don't, we don't care. But all you do is complain about men and you hate men. For what? Who hates something and want to complain about all the time? Like, you don't, you don't even like it. You don't, you don't have to deal with it. It's a choice. Like, I talk about women because I only date women. I talk about relationships because I'm always trying to be in a good, committed relationship. Like, these are things I like, I love, I care for. Things I don't like, I don't talk for. <laughs> things I don't like, I don't care for, I don't talk for. I'm, hey, keep it pushing. She's out here talking about men and she can't stand men. So why are you talking about it? Like, I'm subscribed. Difficult to find them. Last video, guys. Last video, and I'm going to sleep. And 